Hey everyone, it's Kylie and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a fun tutorial for y'all. I'm going to show y'all how to crochet the granny rectangle. So this is a fun variation of the traditional granny square, but in rectangle form. So if you know how to crochet granny squares, then this is going to be really easy for you to catch on and learn. And for the granny rectangle, basically after this first round, your foundation round, it's basically a one row repeat for the rest of the pattern. So it's very easy to catch on. To crochet the granny rectangle, all you need to know how to do is to chain stitch, single crochet, and double crochet. If you can do those three stitches, then you can crochet the granny rectangle stitch. And going on to what yarn I'm using, because I know everybody will be asking, I am using just a Brava worsted white yarn. Um, this one doesn't have a label on it, but it's just various different colors of We Crochet's Brava worsted. It's one of my favorite uh, worsted white yarns that I use a lot and I am also using a 5 millimeter or H crochet hook and we're going to jump right into this I'm going to show you all how to crochet the granny rectangle. I've made my slip knot and place it on my crochet hook and to start the granny rectangle so you can chain any number that is a multiple of 3 plus 2 the most common that I see to start a granny rectangle is they chain 20 and that's what I chained for that sample piece and that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to chain 20 stitches Okay, and after you've chained 20 stitches, you're going to start in the third stitch from your hook, and you're going to work a single crochet in that stitch, and in each stitch across. So I'm just going to work one single crochet in each stitch all the way down. Okay, so that is row one. We are now going to go on to round two because we're not going to start working in the round or rectangle, so to speak. So to go on, we're going to chain three stitches, and this chain three will count as a double crochet stitch here and throughout. So we're going to turn our work, and we're going to work two double crochet in this very first stitch. So this will make our first, like, granny cluster. That's what it will look like. Then we're going to skip two stitches and work three double crochet in the next stitch. And we're basically going to repeat that all the way across until we reach the very last two stitches. So if you crocheted regular gray squares before, this is going to be very easy to get the hang of. So we're going to continue, we're going to skip two stitches and place three double crochet in that next stitch. And we're going to repeat across. Skip two more stitches, three double crochet in the next. Okay, so here's what it looks like so far. And we have reached the very last two stitches. We're now going to work um, our next set of stitches that we do in this chain space where we skipped the two chains and seal crochet in that third chain. So it's like chain two gap here. We're going to work our next set of stitches in. We're first going to work three double crochet into it. Because we're going to make the end and we're going to have to make the two corners. So we're going to make a three double crochet. We're going to chain two, make a corner. Then we're going to work three more double crochet in that same spot. Okay, so then we're going to chain two more and we're just going to turn it as we work. And we're going to place three more double crochet in that same space. Okay, and there's what the end will look like. So we made two corners of our rectangle. Okay, so now we're going to work like in the bottom of our like chain stitches. We single crocheted in them on this side. Now we're going to work in the bottom of them here. So what we're going to do is we work in this end chain space and we're going to skip two chain stitches. So you're just going to, have to look. So one, two, and then the third one, we're going to work three double crochet. 
and they can be a little bit harder to see on this side but once you get this row going or this round going it's really really easy and we're just going to repeat that across we're going to skip two and place three double crochet in the next stitch so you're going to skip this one skip this one three double crochet in this one and we're just going to keep working across One, two, there's the next one. One, two, next one. And then you're going to see here, you get to the very end, you're going to have three stitches left. One, two, three. When you get to the very last three stitches, you're going to skip two. And the very last one, you're going to work three double crochet. And then we're going to make our other corners. So we're going to chain two. Place three more double crochet in that same space. And then we're going to make our very last corner and chain two. And then we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three. Like so. And that's what it will look like after the first round, or round two, I guess, so to say. Okay, so I'm going to cut this yarn and then we're going to go on to round three and I'm going to show y'all how to add in another color. It's really not hard. I want to make a slip knot here and place on my crochet hook of the next color we want to use. I've got a slip knot. And to the next color, you're going to add it on to this corner that we slip stitched in where we started and ended. We're going to go ahead and slip stitch into this corner for round three. So we're gonna go ahead and slip your stitch right in there. And for round three, you're gonna start by chaining three stitches, which will count as a double crochet again. And then we're gonna work two double crochet in this corner. And since we're in a corner, we're gonna make another corner here. So we're gonna chain two stitches and then we'll work three more double crochet in this corner so kind of once you get to this point the rest of it's almost kind of self-explanatory if you have done granny squares before but we'll go on so there is our first corner and now we're going on so this space between these two clusters of three double crochet we're going to work three double crochets in And we'll basically repeat this all the way across until we reach a corner. So three double crochet there. Skip these three double crochet. This next space, we'll work three double crochet all the way down until we get to that corner. Okay, so when you finally reach a corner, you want to work three double crochet, chain two, and then three double crochet all in this chain two corner space. Make another corner. So we'll work three double crochet. We'll chain two. We'll turn around here, and then we'll work three more double crochet. And then well, here's our next corner. We're going to do the same thing in this next corner that we just done. Three double crochet, chain two, and three more double crochet in this corner space. 
So three double crochet. Chain two. Turn around here and then we'll work three more double crochet. And there's what it looks like so far. So then we're just going to keep repeating the same process. We'll work three double crochet in each gap space between the three double crochets here. So I'm going to go ahead and work that until I get down to this corner. And I'll meet you back up when I get to that last corner. Okay, so when you reach this very last corner, you are going to do like you've done all the other corners and work three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet in this corner space. Chain two, and then three more double crochet. And then now since we're back here to the beginning, we're going to slip stitch in the top of that very first chain three. And you can go ahead and cut your yarn and grab the next color that you want to add. I'm going to show you how to add it in. And then every round after this round going on is just going to be a repeat. So going on to round four, because if you count the single crochet as row one, the first row of granny squares was round two. This was round three. And going on to round four, every row after this is just going to be a repeat row. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so going on to the next round, you can slip stitch this color into any one of the four corners that you want to. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and just do this corner here. Um, but it really doesn't matter which corner you do it into. So I'm just going to slip stitch my new color into this. Corner, and we're going to do this corner like we did in the previous round. Corner to start the row by chaining three stitches. And then we're going to work two double crochet in this chain two space. And since we're in a corner, we're going to make a corner. So we're going to chain two stitches. And then work three more double crochet in that same chain two space. And you're pretty much going to work this round as you did the previous round. So we're going to work three double crochet in each one of these gap spaces until we reach our chain two corner. And when we reach our chain two corner, I will show you all how to go around this end piece here. And I'll meet you all up at that chain two corner. Okay, so now we've worked all the way down to a chain two corner. You're then going to work a chain two corner like we do all the corners by placing three double crochet, chain two, and three more double crochet in this corner. Chain two, turn and place three more double crochet. Okay, and then we're going to repeat across like we've been doing. We're going to place three double crochet in each gap space. So we get to the next chain two corner. And since this is just the third or fourth round out, we only have one place to do that in. But as you keep going around, it'll become more spaces. So you're just going to work three double crochet in each gap space until you reach that chain two corner. And then you'll work three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet in that corner. And continue repeating that across three double crochet in each gap space. And you're gonna work that all the way across. And I will meet you up at the very end here when we reach back at the beginning and show y'all how to finish the round. Okay, so we've made it back to the very uh, beginning of where we started. You're now just simply gonna slip stitch into the top chain of that chain three the beginning of the round and that is it you can keep repeating this round as many times as you like to make as big of a rectangle as you like so if you want to keep on repeating that and make a big blanket you can and that's how easy it is to crochet the granny rectangle i hope that y'all enjoyed this tutorial if you did be sure and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel and be sure to check out my channel for other stitch tutorials and even some free crochet patterns and be sure to check out my blog for lots of free crochet patterns and happy crochet guys